Everyone has something they're willing to fight for. Could be family, friends, your beliefs, your home. Doesn't matter who you are, there's just some things you have to protect. But what do you do when the world fights back? I guess I know now. Wish I could go back in time and tell myself. But I was not ready to hear it. Honorable Judge My Bird presiding in the case of people of the state of New York versus Alfred Hound. Defendant charged with attempted grand larceny. How do you plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. I see. Officer, please remove her cuffs. Now, before we begin, perhaps you should reacquaint yourself with your many previous encounters with the law. Haven't seen this in a while. Not my best angle. Nothing like a trip down memory lane. Why are you here, Frey? Grand larceny? Is that who you really are? No, it's just... I needed the cash for... <sighs> Never mind. Sooner or later, you're going to have to start taking accountability for your actions. Are you familiar with the Persistent Felony Offender Law, also known as the Three Strikes Law? Wait, you can't do that. I never hurt anyone. Just yourself. You have two previous felony thefts, and with this new one, your grand total will be three. This could put you away for a very, very long time. You have so much potential. I, I can do so much more with my life. I I I'm a smart girl with a bright future. I was going to say you have so much anger and resentment in you, I'm not sure you'll ever amount to anything at all. Truth hurts. But, in the holiday spirit, I'm going to give you an early present. Try not to piss it away. I'm going to release you under the condition you serve 120 hours of community service. Thanks. You won't regret it. Next time you end up in front of me, I will not be as lenient. We clear? Good. You're free to go. Frey, one more thing. Happy almost birthday. It's not too late to start using your gifts to help others. That was close. That judge might have just saved my ass. Won't get that lucky again. Hey, excuse me. Your phone. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. No worries. Happens to all of us. You saved my life, seriously. Happy holidays. Um, happy holidays. I should get back to Homer. Poor girl needs her dinner. I 
I need to go straight home. find you? Hey, uh, uh, Lisa. Lisa? Really? I thought she was Lisa. That's Chrissy! Huh. Well, in my defense, you don't really look like a Lisa. Uh, oh, where is it? Mm. Oh, I don't have it, all right? There were complications. Not like I wanted to get caught stealing the car, but here we are. Uh, we don't like complications. Mm. You're running out of chances. Yeah, I've been hearing that one a lot today. Get the car back. It's not that easy. It's been impounded. I'm not so special about this car anyway. It's none of your damn business. Our boss, Mr. Giggin, is very unhappy. So unless you get it back, one of us is gonna be in a lot of pain. Do I get to pick? <laughs> Keep joking. We will leave your body in this fucking alley, and I promise you, no one is gonna miss you. <laughs> no one. Okay. Okay, fine. Look, just tell your boss, Mr. Chicken. Giggin. Giggin. Giggin! All right, quick, 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 giggin. Quick, gig. I, I just tell him. I, I, I need some more time, but, but, for now, here's some collateral. Get your ass out of my way! Get out of the way! God damn it, Ray! Get my ass out of my way! Get my ass out of my way! Get my ass out of my way! Get my ass No turning back now. <clears throat> uh, oh, you okay? Oh shit, I, I have to go. I I'm so sorry. I gotta find a way out of here. Maybe it's safer to go through the alley. Won't they just give up already? Hopefully I'll lose them when I get out on the street. Almost there. Where'd she go? Huh? Well, fucking answer me! Where'd she go? We will find you, Frey! You will burn!
Homer must be waiting for me. Better get inside before I freeze. Sweet hell. My favorite kicks. I could stare at you guys all day. The Holland Tunnel, site of my folks' great disappearing act. Who leaves a newborn baby on the street? Well, at least it wasn't the Queen's Midtown Tunnel. That would have been an awful last name. She doesn't like this. But it's all I have. I wonder where Homer's at. Curiouser and curiouser, cried Alice. Wish I could find that rabbit hole and tumble away to Wonderland. Finally, I can start over. Took long enough, though. Sorry, I'm late, I know. <laughs> Miss me? Oh, well, thank you, but my birthday isn't for another few days. I'll tell you what, I almost forgot. I've been so busy recently. Oh, well, you know, important things to do. Riding port, slaying dragons. I'll let you in on a secret, but I'm a pretty big deal. 
real big deal. Everybody needs me. We are getting out of this city, Homer. Away from the assholes, the garbage, the cops. I, I thought it's just enough to get us started. Yeah. I promise we'll go somewhere that loves cats. Even ones like you. I just can't wait for clean air, bright skies. No more chases, no more cops, no more fights. Tomorrow. One more sleep, and we are out of here. Can't wait to be in any other place but this. Find Homer first. Homer, come on, baby. Homer, oh, holy shit. Okay, we gotta get out of here now. No, no, no. Window it is. <sighs> Motherfuckers! <sighs> and finally, the blaze that engulfed the abandoned building in the Hell's Kitchen district of Manhattan has been ruled as arson. Luckily, no one was harmed in the fire. The FDMY believe it was set by some local gang members. The suspects are still at large. Pray. What happened to you? You look like hell. Are you allergic? What? To cats. Are you allergic to cats? No, I, I love cats, but are you in trouble? Good. She likes wet food, the flaky kind, not pate. She needs a warm place to sleep. Maybe a lap every once in a while. And she needs a bath, but good luck with that. Frey, what's going on? Her name is Homer. Promise me you'll look after her. Promise. Thank you. What are you doing, Frey? the right thing. I need some time to, to sort some stuff out, but I'll come back for her. It just might take a while. Frey, wait. If you're in trouble, I can help you, Frey. Happy holidays.
All right. Homer is safe. Now what am I gonna do? Full circle. Happy birthday to me. Thanks, Mom. No, oh, I'm better than that. No, I'm gonna fix things. Get Homer back. Finally get out of... It's beautiful. Nope. Not getting in that way. Must be another way. Definitely no one in here. Seriously? Who would just leave this? Wow. Whoa. <laughs> hmm. What? Oh. Where am I? What's happened to me?
Damn, that is a serious draft. Who's there? And technically not Earth. Well, not what you would call Earth, anyway. I swear to God, asshole, show yourself! Show myself? I've shown. I'm showing. I can't get more showed. Show myself in tears. Where are you? Right here, at the end of your arm. The thing that you so fruitlessly tried to remove. Oh, hello, yes. So oh, perhaps you're smarter than you look. No. Yes. N no. Yes. You, the one talking to me right now, are this... Cuff? Cuff? It's a bit reductive, isn't it? Cuff? Gauntlet, maybe. Van Brace. Oh, Van Brace. Van Brace. Yeah, no, it's definitely Van Brace. No, no, no. This is batshit bananas! Ah, and yet, it's the truth! Stop your hurting me now! Seriously? No. But what you're doing is completely futile. How is this happening? Well, what were you doing before this was happening, hmm? I was... Doesn't matter. Still here. Whoever is doing this, stop. This is one sick joke. I am out of here. You can't run away from me. I am literally attached to you. Why don't we settle down a bit and talk about ourselves? Talk about our interests in life, perhaps. I am not hearing this. This is all a bad dream. Be careful not to trip on anything. You can also see things? This cannot be fucking real. <sighs> Listen to me, Frey. How the hell do you know my name? We are bonded. Bonded? What do you mean, bonded? Why is this happening? This is... No. On bond. On bond now. As you can see, you're stuck with me, and I with you. And only you can hear me. Stop! Stop talking! This is completely insane! Frey, slow down. You need to listen to me. No, what I need is to figure out how to get back. Quiet. What? Hide. <gasps> is that a motherfucking dragon? Shh. Don't let it see you. Yes, and we should leave this place as well. With that thing out there? I don't think so. I'm sure the creature is far away by now, and besides... What? You won't last long without anything to eat. Fine. And how exactly do you plan on getting out? I believe climbing that wall might be our best option. Hey, Cuff. Is 
So, if we are bonding... Correction, bonded. Whatever. If we are stuck with each other, then what's your deal? My deal? Who are you? I am... what you see. Lovely. And I suppose you'll tell me more if I answer your riddles three? Uh, I don't follow. Never mind. Why were you rusting at that old shop anyway? Good question. I've been wondering that myself. All I do know is that before I visited Earth, I was here in Athia. Wait, what? That means it must be your fault I wound up here. How dare you? It was nothing to do with me. If you must know, I'm as keen to find out what brought us here as you are. So, have you always been... this? This? This. This chatty bling. As I recall, no. What do you recall? Hmm. I traveled here. Athia was not my home. I, like you, am an outsider. When I arrived, there was a lot of turmoil between the Tantas. The who was? The Tantas. They were four very powerful women who ruled Athia, each with a special ability. Like what? Magic or something? If by magic you mean the ability to turn me into an inanimate object, then yes. What in all creation is that contraption? It's a smartphone. It's for texting, calling, games, videos, taking selfies, and... Which, by the way, I am not gonna explain to you, so don't bother asking. I know what a selfie is. Really? Not really. What else can that thing do? It also has GPS, which would usually tell me exactly where I am. So where are you? Somewhere between purgatory and hell. It told you that? Sure did. Whoa! What the fuck was that? Oh, one of my talents, if you will. Hmm, it seems like there's a small settlement up ahead. Perhaps we can rest there. And you know that how? What are you? The extent of my abilities is nigh on limitless. I'm a Vambrace, after all. Uh-huh. So, this is Athia? Janoon. Janoon? I thought you said... Athia, big picture. Janoon, small picture. Janoon is part of Athia. I get it. Like New York City versus New York State. Exactly. I think. I have no idea what Newark is. No, not Newark. New York. Hey! Look at you! I'd be careful. Come on! Don't be shy. Seriously, I wouldn't. Let's just keep moving. Why are you so freaked out by this fella? What? Whoa! Because it's not as it seems. You tell me that now? Shit! Well, don't just stand there.
What the? Don't start panicking now. Did I just do that? Well, definitely with my assistance. I did not just do that. We did. I just moved shit with my mind. Perhaps our connection has somehow awoken some abilities. I just moved shit with my mind. I just keep hearing I, I, I. I just moved shit with my freaking mind! <laughs> yeah, okay, that is something I do now. I do magic, talk to sentient cuffs, kill jacked up beasts. You know what? I'll probably fly next. Now you're just being ridiculous. Oh, that's too far. Good to know there was a line. If you could just master these new abilities, with my help, of course. Um, did you not just see me take out that gnarly beast? Oh, bring it, you mangled monsters. Ah. Okay. The fuck is up with the animals here? They did seem somewhat altered, didn't they? Makes you one. Uh, what can have caused such a mutation? Yeah, like what happened here? Whoa, what the hell? What is this weird feeling? There seems to be some sort of malignant miasma in the air. Okay, turning back now. It doesn't seem to be affecting you though, does it? Besides, I doubt there'd be much benefit in retracing your steps. So this miasma, what exactly is it? It's quite mysterious, isn't it? I suspect it might be what's causing all the local wildlife to look so peculiar. So, how come it doesn't affect me? How come, indeed? Could it be thanks to your commendable choice of traveling companion, perhaps? No, not that. Definitely not that. Nothing but ruins. Looks like no one's been here for a while. I wonder how long everything's been in this shitty state. Perhaps we should find somewhere else to search? There's something there.
So much for clean air and bright skies. I try to escape to someplace better, and where do I wind up? Someplace ten times worse. Oh, poor you. Now we have to deal with an even bigger one. Lucky me. Not bad. Thanks, Professor. I told you to call me Vambrace. Sure, Cuff. Sure. Shit! It might be wiser to run this time. No kidding. Okay, this is awesome. I am catching some serious air. Very impressive. Just try not to catch some air into a seriously early grave. Come on! I could run like the wind, and I'm not even getting... Fired. Please, try not to get too careful. Ugh. Oh, come on! Whoa! Huh. That was close. Where the hell are we now? The big city, I suppose? Hello? Anyone home? Say something if you can hear me. Not a sound. Well, let's keep looking. You should probably keep an eye out for somewhere to rest, too. Let's see what's over there. Is there not a single person left? It very much seems that way. Perhaps this oddness with the air drove them to escape to safer climes. Hope so. At least that would mean they're still alive. Something's there. What shall we do? Uh, could pretend we didn't notice? What the hell happened here? Not only is it completely empty, but this place is... twisted. Perhaps it has something to do with the strange creatures prowling about the place?
Almost there. Roger that. Well, this place is fun. I imagine it was once. Happy, smiling faces on every corner. No, I can picture it now. Damn. Everything just looks... broken. Not exactly the most poetic of descriptions, but yes, I suppose it does. Is there nowhere that's not, like, broken by this shit? I suppose there might be somewhere. No one there. No one at all. Where the hell did everyone go? Your guess is as good as mine. Suppose our only choice is to keep looking. Sounds like trouble. Yes, and given what we've seen so far, I'd say you need to be very careful in case you're planning on investigating. Shit! What is it now? Is this the break shit's doing too? I believe so. It corrupts everything it touches before destroying it completely. Now hurry up and get out of here while you still can. Well, for starters, I think we should run. Too late for that. Anything that big must have a weak point. Careful! You're about to get badly bitten! You were saying? Even the best of us make mistakes. For an amateur, I suppose. Hey, you want to do the fighting here? Fuck. What did I do to this? That's not a good thing, is it? Probably not. You 
might want to find some cover. Fast. Shit. Oh, fuck. Reptilian friend seems as stubbornly healthy as ever. Uh. Whoa, did you see that? So gratifying to see my hard work paying dividends. Think it's dead? The dragon? Well, it did get crushed by all that rubble. Like we'll have much cover here. Let's hope our dragon friend doesn't succumb to the urge to blast us with its beam of death again. Oh, I just can't catch its wraith. <clears throat> Frey, you need to get directly in front of it now. What? Are you trying to get me killed? It has a blind spot. Trust me. That's it! Show that beast what it means to mess with a fan brace! Yep. Stay alert. 
Try to work out where it will attack from next. Holy shit! Keep at it! I think you're finally getting somewhere! Don't panic. Try to predict its next movement. if you fall from up here. I'm gonna die anyway, asshole. Well, this is exciting. Are you all right? Uh, I think so. <clears throat> Looks like there's a town up there. Hopefully one that isn't deserted. Well, you'll never find out if you don't go and see. Yeah, of course I speak and put your pointy stick away, asshole. Move! All right, move it. Where are we now? This is the city of Sipor. Why are they speaking English? It's my experience that languages share commonalities across many dimensions. Okay, any answer works for me, I guess. Quiet! Keep moving, fiend! Ugh, of course. Back in court. Let. Me. Go! Easy. Settle. Settle. Who are you, child? Who are you? I would humble thyself and answer their questions. I got this. I'm used to repping thyself. I don't think you comprehend the gravity of your situation. I've gotten myself out of much tougher scrapes than this, thank you very much. So why don't you shut your shiny mouth and let me do the talking? Look at her. She speaks with invisible beings. Does she in cahoots with demons? What? No. And, and who uses cahoots? I would like to hear the answer to Councilwoman Bellet's question, child. My name is Frey Holland. I do not know how I got here. I am exhausted. I am starving, and all I want is to go home. Her vestments are strange. Where is she from? Hell's Kitchen. You see? She is Hell's spawn. How else could she survive in the corruption? Please. How did you emerge from the corruption of Janoon unscathed? I wouldn't exactly say unscathed. It's because she and the corruption are one and the same. We must execute her immediately! Wait, what? No, that's crazy. I don't even know how I got here. Please, listen to me. I believe we need her. Who wishes to address the Council? Forgive me. I am Odin Keen. 
All this woman is guilty of is surviving the corrupted lands. We have much to learn from her. Until now, we've only met her with blades. Perhaps we could extend her a hand of kindness. The devil will accept your kindness, as it bites your hand, spreading its venomous corruption into your veins. We must deal with this interloper swiftly. Councilwoman Ballette, please! Both Odin King and Councilman Janesh have made very compelling arguments. Council is divided. Therefore, there shall be no blood spilled today. But... Heed my warning, child. If you prove a threat, we will have no choice but to eliminate you. Take her to the Tower of Binoy. Please, Councilman Belette, your ruling is too harsh. The Council is adjourned. She has done nothing wrong. Wait, what, uh, Tower of Benoit? What's the Tower of Benoit? I believe it's a prison. Please! What? Oh, hell no, I'm not getting locked up again. Let me go! Let me go! Don't touch me, asshole! Oh. Oh. No! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Look! I am imprisoned, a million miles from home, in a Ren Faire nightmare. Just let me die in peace. If you die, I'm just a meaningless bauble that they bury you with. And I am fine with that. Just leave me alone. You know what? None of this is my fault. This is all your and, fucking fault. And tell me fault. how exactly this is my fault. Can we just not talk? Fine. Fine by me. Suit yourself. I'd love a bit of silence. Fantastic. <sighs> you say another fucking word. You know, I never thought I'd miss the Hell's Kitchen courthouse. Of course it's locked. I doubt you'll be squeezing your way to freedom through there. No shit. Damn it, this is going nowhere. Did that piss bucket do something to annoy you? No. You know what? You did. Because of you, I'm not getting back to- New York? New York. How hard is that to remember? Mm, maybe as hard to remember as Vambrace? If memory serves me right, you weren't exactly in the best of spirits when our paths first crossed. I'm not sure why you're so determined to return. You know what? I'm just- Gonna use magic to bust us out of here. It isn't advisable to use your abilities in front of them. Why not? 
They already think I'm in cahoots with demons. But they will hang you for being a heretic. What, like a Salem situation? Do you expect me to know what that means? <sighs> Look, we, we did it your way, and now we're gonna try it my way. <laughs> did I just do that? Quick, put this on. Who's there? I will free you, but you have to put it on and do as I say. Okay, it's on. You. You're the one who stood up for me in court. Why are you doing this? Because I believe you. But we must hurry. How did you sneak past the guards? I prepared a tincture of slumber baked into a pastry. Hmm. Looks can really be deceiving. Let's go before they wake. Wait. Where are we going? What's your angle? Angle? She did defend you in court, and right now she seems to be your only option. Fair point. All right, wherever we're going, there's got to be food. Well, this is serendipitous. You're telling me. Did you say something? What? Uh, uh no. <laughs> Please, after you. You sure this is a good idea? I mean, aren't you gonna get yourself in trouble? Don't worry about me. Besides, I couldn't just stand idly by while they treated you so unfairly. Who were those people running the trial? You mean the Council of Sepul? They're the leaders of our city. They settle all our disputes. Judge and jury all rolled into one, huh? Efficient. As you can see, our land suffers. Everything that corruption touches... It breaks. Yeah. I saw it up close. It's real fucked up in there. Uh, not pleasant. Indeed. Athia's all but lost. Where did the break shit come from? I'll tell you soon enough. We must keep moving. So where are we going, exactly? We should make our way to the Lower City. The Lower City. Got it. What were you even doing at the courtroom? No one has arrived from outside the city for many years. Everyone in town wants to know who you are. The price of notoriety, I guess. After what you called the break shit... Uh, let's just go with the break. After the break occurred, people fled their villages. Sepul is the last bastion. Damn. I would advise staying off the main thoroughfares. Less chance of being spotted. You know, we should stay off the main thoroughfares. Less chance of being spotted. You're right. Wow, nice digs. Some schmancy houses. This is where the nobility live. Ah, yes. The Upper East Side. Technically, we're in the north of the city. Fan out! She can't have got far! It appears. 
appears they've noticed that you're missing. Head for the shadows and keep moving. Stick to the shadows. Great idea. Why can't you be more like her? She likes all my ideas. You are safe now. Uh, thanks. We are close to where I live. Come, I have food. Bit of a half-hearted thank you, I must say. Nobody does anything nice without wanting something in return. I have trust issues. Hmm. Do you trust me? <sighs> well, you and I have is an unholy alliance at best. I couldn't get rid of you even if I wanted to. She did just risk her own life to get you out of jail. Point taken. Plus, she promised me food. And don't you want to know what she wants? It's quite the mystery. More interested in the food at the moment. Ugh. We can speak freely here. I am Odin Keen. Daughter of Robian and Callista Keen. Well, uh, I'm Frey Holland. Daughter of... who the F knows. I don't know how to respond. It's okay. Boring story. I'm over it. Liar. My father was a notable cognizant. Cognizant? Cognizant. You say tomato, I say tomato. Tomato, tomato. You are very strange, Frey. Cognizants are Athia's most highly respected scholars. And my mother was a general. Oof. That is a lot to live up to. Wait, was? I've been on my own almost my whole life. I don't know what that's like. I don't have any parents. I had some foster ones, but they never really stuck. So you must feel the same way. That we got royally screwed? That we must help others. Tomato, tomato. This is my home. You live in a bar? Uh, above. I like you more and more. So about that food? You had this on you the whole time? I needed you to follow me, Frey Holland, daughter of who the F knows. Hmm. Just Frey's fine and uh, well played. Well, thanks for the jailbreak lady and the apple, but uh, this is where he part ways. Please wait. I need your help to save my homeland. Ah, uh, mystery solved. That's not happening. The circle of bending light, the rushing sound. That's what brought you here, yes? You want to go back home, don't you? I may be able to help you. I'll give you to the bottom of a drink.
Nice. Looks like one of those medieval themed bars. Hey! Sorry, I didn't see you. Give it back. Come on. Second rule of pickpocketing never give back what you stole. What's the first rule? Don't get caught. What is it anyway? Something that ain't worth crap here. Well, if it isn't worth anything, why can't I have it? Nice try, Munchkin. Now scram! A pint of your finest ale, my good sir. Hell of a kick. You guys do not mess around. All right, let's hear it. This isn't gonna last long. My father researched the phenomenon known as the Tirana extensively. Tirana? The tunnel of light you traveled through. I believe his work holds the answers you need. I could give you his findings. And... Here it comes. In return, I want you to find his research notes on the break. They are... In the break, right? It does not seem to have any effect on you. So they say. Many have tried to find what's outside the city, but they don't get far before... Before what? You are the only hope we have. You're special. <laughs> okay, you obviously don't know me. I want proof. Uh, follow me and I'll show you. And thank you. I, I haven't said yes. Do you believe her? I suppose anything is possible. Some chance is better than no chance. I do not want to go back into that hellscape. Come on, we'll be fine. Well, no. I've not seen you around before. Hello. Did you know there are monsters out there that can fly? Actually fly. Fancy that. Not that you believe me, of course. <laughs> no one does. Is this, then, your folks? Yes. It was painted when we were at one of the Cognizance guilds. Father was one of the Cognizance of Janoon. He had the foresight to move his work to Praenos just before the guild in Janoon fell to the break. So your dad's notes are in Praenos? Yes. He brought me here to keep me safe from the break. But it wasn't long before he went back to finish his work. That was 20 years ago. I never saw him again. And the break eventually overtook everything outside the city. Could you tell me about him? He was a brilliant man, beloved by many. He was close to finding a way of slowing down the break, maybe even reversing it. People put their faith in him, believed that he would make the world how it used to be. I'm trying my hardest to continue his work, to keep hope alive. Here. These are his notes on the Tirana. Yeah, yeah, this looks familiar. You can have this after you help me. Quid pro quo. I get it. He kept his notes on the break and read journals like this one. I need you to find them and bring them back. 
Okay, so I go and get the journals, bring them back, and then we're square. That's the full extent of my savioring. I will do everything in my power to help you get home. You have my word. Cross your heart and hope to die? You wish me dead? N no, no, it's a, a phrase we have on our... <laughs> Forget it. I shall pretend those words were never uttered. Good. Okay, I'm in. Why not? It's not like I've got any better options. Oh, this is good news. You're truly helping the people of Athia. Uh, not why I'm doing it, but yeah, sure. If you're planning on heading into the break, you'll need to get some rest. I'll go in the morning. You got anywhere I can crash? Crash? A crash. A, a sleep? Oh, of course. Follow me. You can use this room whenever you like, and I'll prepare a change of clothes for you. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. What a fucking day. Still can't tell if any of this is real. And yet it is. Now rest. You have another big day tomorrow. Now you look like one of us. But your shoes betray you. These have gotten me out of a lot of scrapes. Where I go, they go. The kicks stay. So it shall be. Here, you'll also need this. It's a map of Athia. It should aid you on your journey. Here, I've marked the Cognizance Guild. Perfect. Thank you again. Tanta's blessings. You too, whatever that means. Maybe you should grab an apple. An apple a day. We'll keep Frey's hunger at bay. Such a poet. So, how do we get to this Cognizance's guild place? If I'm reading the peasant girl's map correctly, we'll need to leave the city by the south gate. All right, let's get going then. What's this? It's a Partha from Janoon. So they're like, Athian dice? They're made of animal bones. 
You roll one, and if it lands on one of the little symbol things, <laughs> you're in for a lucky day. Wow. Sounds fun. Oh, that's all it is. No one takes it too seriously. Go on, give it a go. Nice, roll the whatever that is. So, you're guild bound, I hear. Guess you hear a lot of things. That I do. There's not a lot happens in this town I don't come to know of eventually. Huh. No idea if he can be trusted, but we might as well see what he can tell us, wouldn't you say? The Cognoscents used to study things we mere mortals couldn't hope to understand. Old Trehe used to say that one of their books was worth more than a hundred loaves of bread. That's all I get from the guy who knows everything? I told you, it's town I know about. And that place wasn't inside the city walls last time I checked. Come on, it was better than nothing. Poor chap. Horn's a bit earnest, but she's got her head screwed on, and you won't find a kinder soul in support. Granted, there are those who think she sometimes sticks her nose in where it doesn't belong. If you can add me to that list, that's for certain. But Dad, Robian, he was well respected enough that everybody knows her heart must be in the right place. Used to be a very good customer of mine, that one. Don't you think you've had enough for one lifetime? Now that's what I'm talking about. Some complex flavors going on here. Hmm. Connoisseur, are we? All right, come on. Don't hold out on me. What's the secret ingredient? Hey, I can't tell you that. It's more than my job's worth. Well, suit yourself. Orden's putting a lot of faith in you, you know. I didn't ask her to. Oh, charming. Well, be seeing you again soon. This is the only pub in town, after all. <laughs> How far now? We're getting closer. You can use that room whenever you like. Just don't go breaking anything. We've barely got enough materials to keep support from falling apart. Taunt us blessings. Hang on. Who the heck are you? You're not the one they're saying came from outside the city, are you? Well. Just don't go causing any mischief, you hear? Taunt us blessings. Hang on. Who the heck are you? You're not the one they're saying came from outside the city. Oh. Fair maiden, a moment, if you please. Pray, lend me your ears. I have a fine song to play you. Very well. Then allow me to regale you with the ballad of the enormously clever person of Sipal. Is that really the best title he could come up with? Well, did it speak to your soul? Did the doleful melody conjure images of the encroaching miasma, the unearthly cries of its foul denizens? The unlucky inhabitants of this fair city, myself among them, cursed, never again to venture beyond its walls. Again? Have you ever been out there? But of course. 
what manner of minstrel would I be did I not go wandering over hill and dale? <laughs> In my dreams, of course. <clears throat> you, Bart! Escaped criminals roam the streets and still you do not cease your racket. There is a crisis afoot. Forgive me, but there is always a crisis afoot. Well, you may have a point there, but nonetheless... She's a guard, Frey. We need to get out of here, now. I, uh, guess I'll be on my way then. Wait. You. You're... So sorry to see you go, fair maiden, but go you must. And quickly. <clears throat> that was a little too close for comfort. But we got away, thanks to the fop. Dream wanderings, indeed. Yeah, and that song. What the hell even was that? I think we're nearly there. Well done, me. Greetings. Oh. Ah. Sorry about this one. He's not the bravest. It's not often we see an unfamiliar face. Where did you spring from? There's even more guards out looking for you than yesterday. And Councilwoman Dax is in charge of them. Be warned, she's not to be messed with. <laughs> wow, that is a ton of junk, right? suit they served us today didn't taste of anything at all. Huh. And that rotten councilman said we'd get the same food as the upper city. A likely story. Liars, the lot of them. A pond. Kinda quaint, you know? I suppose. If you consider the. A cat. Job. I'm so glad they have cats in Athia, too. Where is it going? Are you going after it?
Um... So this is where you were taking us. Aw, is this for me? You're no Homer, but you're cute. We came this way last night, right? Good day! Please don't do anything to draw attention to us. Oi! You! Huh? You talking to me? Uh, oopsie. Uh, she's a sharp one. What's that you got there, eh? What, this? I just found it lying around the town. Let me swap you something for it. I'll do you a good deal, I promise. Well? Showing me the goods. Thank you very much. And here. Do come again. That was a short trip. How the hell do you get out of this dump anyway? I know a way. You. You been following me, kid? No. But I know how to help you. Really? I know everything around here. Mm-hmm. And what's that gonna cost me? An apple, maybe? So you have been following me. Sure. You seem hungry. Just follow me. Don't 
you want to know my name? Not really. It's Olivia. And you're Fred. Everyone's been talking about you. I guess I'm kind of famous around here. Does famous mean hunted by the gods? I call it finders keepers. Damn. Did you steal all this stuff? Not all of it. You're growing on me, kid. Sometimes people have no idea what they're throwing away. I often make new things out of this stuff. Here. If you get hurt, this will help you heal. All right. Nice. You'll have to give me the recipe. Of course. Let me teach you how. Try it. People really do throw a lot of stuff away, huh? Yes, a lot of useless rubbish. Wait, this might come in handy. Hey, Shorty. I got you something. That thing you said isn't worth crap. No, not my cell phone. And thanks for not swiping that again. I don't steal from friends. Friends? Cool. Uh, well, as your friend, I got you this. Wow. What is that? Are you a taunter? <laughs> it's a pen light, and... No, I'm not a taunter. I... What's the deal with those guys anyway? They were the strongest and most powerful woman in Athia. They all had gifts. And in the past, they used them to help protect the land. And one day, they will again. They'll come and save us. <sighs> Listen, kid. From personal experience, you gotta look out for yourself. People only really get saved in fairy tales. You're wrong. You'll see. All right, well, uh, I got a split. Um, you said you knew the best way out of this place? Well, if you climb over that wall there, that should help you get to where you want to be. Cool. Thanks. I'll, uh, see you when I see you. I'll keep the city safe while you're gone. 
Sure. You do that. You like cats, don't you, Frank? Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Tonta's blessings be upon you. You. You are the escapee. Please, I beg of you, do not harm the children. Why don't your trust issues extend to the street urchin? Because I've been there, all right? Let's just leave it at... What the hell are these things? Are they people? I believe this is what happens when humans are affected by the break. Then I can't kill them. What choice do you have? It's either them or you. So this is what Auden meant when she said people who come out here don't make it very far. Explains why the people of Sapor prefer staying inside those bills of theirs. Whoa, do you feel that? Those are powerful magical energies indeed. 
Why not dive in? What the hell was that? Did something happen? I don't know. I feel more powerful, I think. Hmm. Well, more power is always a good thing. Something here. I can feel it. Yeah, I know what you mean. Don't like the look of this.
This seems like a good place to take a rest, don't you think? Well, look who's starting to understand where humans can and can't sleep. Rather a niche skill, I'd imagine. But thank you. <laughs>